Hey, Matthew chapter 13, verses 10 through 13 says, his disciples came and asked him, why do you use parables when you talk to people? He replied, you are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but others are not. To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given, and they will have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. That's why I use these parables. For they look, but they don't really see. They hear, but they don't really listen or understand. You know, I'll admit that this teaching of Jesus seems rather harsh and exclusive. At first glance, it appears that Jesus is saying that the gospel is available to some people, but not to others. You are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but others are not. Also, for they look, but they don't really see. They hear, but they don't really listen or understand. But upon closer inspection, Jesus is not excluding anyone. They are excluding themselves. He said, to those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given. And they will have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. While we use these two words interchangeably, Jesus is making a distinction between hearing and listening. He said, they hear, but they don't really listen or understand. You know, hearing is the process by which words are transmitted to my brain. Listening is the process of focusing on the meaning of the words transmitted to my brain. <laughs> All of which leads me to this question. When God speaks through Scripture, am I just hearing words or am I listening? what he has to say. Pray with me. Lord, today, help me to do more than hearing. Oh, hearing's good. But if it's not accompanied by listening, the words are just empty. So help us to both hear your word and listen to your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. I hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.